Hey everyone, I'm Chris. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through how to install and run Dream, a cool and exciting new stable diffusion plugin for Unreal 5. Let's go. So the first thing we need to do is to actually download the tool. Now the best place to find the latest links for the latest version of the tool is to join the UE5 Let's Dream Discord. And I'll post a link to that below so you can follow that along. I have opened here the Google Drive that the creator Alberto has shared with us. Um, at the time of recording this, there is a Git repo and a Google Drive. I know Alberto was having problems with uh, Git excluding some files. So at the moment, the Google Drive is the best place to go to get those files. And there's two things that we want here, the dependencies.ra and the plugins.ra. So we want to download those. Once the packages have finished downloading, the first thing we need to do before we even open Unreal is to add the dependencies to Unreal Engine's third parties folder. So to do that, we're gonna to navigate to the downloads folder where we downloaded the two raw folders. And we're also gonna to navigate to Unreal's third party library folder. And again, I'll post a link to that below, assuming that you use the default install location for Unreal. If not, you will be looking for something similar to this, program files, UE5, third party, Python, Windows 64, library, site packages. And I'm just going to Control C to copy the dependencies, and I'm going to Control V to paste that in there. With that in there, I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract here. Now, in all likelihood, you'll get a little pop up asking you if you want to replace some stuff. This is safe to do so um, because we're in the third party, so it's not part of the engine. Um, however, if in doubt, feel free to jump in the Discord and ask anybody what it's doing, but this is safe. So I'm going to say yes to all and then it's gonna to start to extract. Now this is gonna take a moment, so I'm just gonna pause here while we wait for this to finish. The next thing we want to do is to start a new project and install and enable the plugins. So I'm just gonna create a uh, blank project. I'm gonna call this, uh, let's call it my, my dream. Um, blank project, I don't want the start content. I don't want anything. As soon as that finished loading, I'm gonna to browse to the project folder. So that's in documents. I save them in Unreal projects as my dream. And we have the usual content intermediate saved and the my dream view project file. Next thing we want to do is to copy the plugins into there. So I'm gonna come back to the downloads folder. I'm gonna copy the plugins in there. And I'm gonna right click and extract here. There we go, that's done. And I don't actually need that plugins folder anymore, so I'm gonna delete that. Let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna to come to the settings, plugins. I'm gonna search for two things. So let's search for Dream. And there it is there, the UE5 Stable Diffusion in beta. It's gonna tell you it's a beta, are you sure? Yeah, that's fine, let's enable it. We also need to enable Python. Um, we want the Python editor script plugin, which I already have enabled. And now it's telling me I need to restart the editor for the changes to effect, take effect. So I'm gonna hit the restart. There it is, get rid of the plugins menu. And now we should see a Let's Dream link up here. The last thing you'll notice, obviously we don't actually have anything yet. We want to click on Let's Dream and just run this install on our project. We only have to do this once per project. Again, that will take just a moment and that's just installing the dream tool uh, to our Unreal. So just give that a moment to finish. All right, we have installed it. Now it is time for the fun part, time to start dreaming. So let's launch the tool. Uh, we're gonna come up to Let's Dream and I'm gonna click on Dream, and it gives us a pop-up to the little UI. Now it's a fairly simple UI, I'm not gonna sit and explain everything on it because it'd be quicker for me to actually just show you what everything does. So to just get the ball rolling, I'm going to go to File, New Level. I'm gonna create an open world for just a second, and I have just a blank world here. 
So in the UI, we tell it what we want to dream of here. This is the standard thing that you're used to with any stable diffusion. Um, so let's have a dream of a sandy desert storm. I'm not going to do anything else. We have the strength bar down here. Now this strength um, is how much permission the tool has to overwrite what it sees in your scene. So the further we go to the right, the more it can overwrite. The further to the left, the less it can overwrite, the more it has to stay true to what you actually have in your scene. So this is gonna be something you're just gonna to wanna to play around with. I'm gonna leave it roughly around here. Now these two buttons are the important ones. These are the ones that do the work. So this update viewport, when we click it, let's just get rid of that. You'll see a little pop-up comes down here and it says high resolution screenshot saved as, and then a little link to a folder. If I click that, it's gonna open up this file explorer and you can see it's giving me this little dream.png, which is actually just a snapshot of my Unreal viewport. And this is what it's gonna to use to do the, the dreaming on top of. So let's just dream of a sandy desert storm just to get us started. And then I'll show you the real power of this tool afterwards. So with this dream.png in here, I'm just gonna click let's dream. And then if I bring this over and we just watch in this folder, when Unreal is done dreaming, um, you're gonna see three new images pop up in here. Okay, here's the three images. And I've got to open those. So kind of got there, kind of got there. Not too bad. The power of stable diffusion is obviously in what we tell it to do. So the more descriptive and better we can be with our dream, um, the better the results are going to be. But any um, of the stable diffusion tools that exist at the moment can do this outside of Unreal. So what's the point in this? Well, the power in this is actually going to be using 3D models to do that. And I have some examples here. So I'm just going to get these out of the way. Let me just get rid of that. I have already brought some geo in, so I'm just going to bring these into my scene. I am going to reset that. And this is just a very basic, I don't know, old school Greek temple style thing. And just to show you how these tools work, uh, we're going to dream of a where we go, a Greek temple in ruins. Because we've changed the view, we've changed uh, what we actually have here. I'm gonna click on update viewport and that is gonna update this image for us. I can delete these now, I don't need them. This is, again, still a snapshot of my viewport. And let's just dream from there. And let's see what we get. So here's our three images turn up and you can see already the benefit of this, how it's tried to respect the ramp that I have going up into there on the pillars at the front. It's gone a little bit away from it, but again, that's gonna come down to this slider. So just to give you an example, um, I'm gonna do two more and I'm gonna do these real quick. So let's, I'm gonna delete these and then I'm gonna speed the video up and I'm gonna do one at a really low strength and one at a really high strength and we're going to compare the two. So let's go dreaming. Okay, and I'm sure already you can see the difference in those. In fact, let's come to extra large icons. So we have here three very high res ones. Um, where it's taken it on itself to change the angle and that, but it still stayed relatively true to what we had. Um, and you can see the low strength ones here. So that was just a very quick overview of how we install the tool and how using geometry, very, very basic geometry, we can get some really cool results and actually drive the image much more in the direction we want. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see how this tool develops. And as it goes on, I hope to bring you more tutorials on how to make better and cooler images. But please join the Discord, get creating, get sharing, and let's all enjoy your artwork together. Until next time, see you soon.